Hello and welcome to a live tutorial of how to add plugins, scripts, shells and gizmos to the open source pipeline Plex. My name is Alexander Richter, I'm a technical director and I will be the host for today. When it comes to additions to a DCC package, you mainly have two options. Either copy your plugins into the root folder of the software or enhance the paths of the software environment to widen the search parameters. This is exactly what Plex does provides the artist with a shared environment. For that matter, I created some plugins which we can copy into our current settings. So let's navigate to Plex software. Let's go to Maya. And here we have plugins, scripts and shelves. And let's copy all the needed files to the script shelf and plugin pass. And the same thing for Nuke, where we copy the new gizmo there. So, and now let's fire up all, both software. So while they're running, um, should you need a deeper folder structure or have a need for additional environment paths, you can. Just navigate to your software YAML file. So if we go to Plex and go there to no to data, project, default, and open software YAML, you see here under environment all the environments that Plex uh, adds to, for example, here Maya. If you want to have, for example, a a custom or an additional path into plugins. You just copy the environment first variable and add here, for example, your new plugin path. And it will add this plugin path and searches for plugins in there. You can also, you can also add new completely uh, environments, like if you type in a new environment and then add a plugin path and automatically, every time you open the pipeline, a Nuke or Maya or whatever, it will add this path to your environments. So let's have a look on how this works out in the software. Let's go to Nuke. We have the custom toolbar. We go to the gizmos. And as you can see, there's the new gizmo. Let's click on that and we have it here. The same thing applies for Maya. We see we have the new shelf with the new custom buttons. And if we open the plugin manager and go here, we have the new plugin Pi and the new plugin 2 MLL. Let's add this one too. And let's try one out, which is um, a small Tension Plus node I created with a friend. It works. And the same thing applies for the script. So if you add your, your new script to the script folder of Maya. You can just do an import new script and then use the function, for example, create sphere. Let's press this and it will be added to your current um, environment variable and will be fully functional in your project. As you can see, it's quite simple to add additions and extensions to Plex and share it with, with the whole environment and with everyone. And if you want to have more information on the subject, just go to the github.com slash Richter slash Plex repository and also check out the wiki. I hope you, you like this video and enjoy to work with Plex and it helps to uh, enhance your project. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.